In this Madden 16 tip, what we're going to show you is we're going to teach you how to beat nano blitzes in Madden NFL 16. Guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Cody Bauer. I make Madden 16 videos and teach you how to play the game and how to have success uh, as, an, as a gamer in Madden 16. Today we're going to be talking about, and this whole week we've been talking about offensive uh, scheming. We've been talking about the five sets of success, the real science behind what makes a good offensive scheme. Uh, we first talked about a base play, uh, something to come out in that gives you a flow that allows you to read the defense very clearly. Uh, and then second, we showed you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage from a, from a tight, compressed formation that gets mesh, mesh patterns and, and quick rubs. We broke that down for you. Third, yesterday we showed you how to beat zone defense by getting uh, you know nice route combinations and also by using trips formations to overload zones. Today what we're going to be doing is, in my important, the most important videos, is showing you how to have a play, one play that you can have and you can trust that you're going to be able to have some quick passes and beat the blitzing defenses. Blitzing is a very popular tactic by advanced Madden players, and this is arguably one of the most important formations to have. And uh, it's it, and first and foremost, the blitz beater does one or two things. Number one, it can it, it allows you to pick up pressure. Uh, first and foremost, it, it allows you to pick up pressure, and uh, you know that's kind of the thing. And then also, secondly has quick passes, something that to take advantage of zone blitzing defenses and also quick man blitzing defenses. So a popular defense that people are using this year is a 3-4 Predator. And uh, the play that most guys are using, we're just going to break down a basic one, uh, but this uh, FS Slant 3, that's a popular uh, defense this year. Okay, and, and, and here we're going to show you what we look for in a blitz beater, specifically a blitz beater, is something that once, first and foremost, that you can block, you know, two to three guys with. And... Um, and, and, and then also something that you can use uh, to create a nice compact look and, and to beat man, but also have some quick passes to beat zone, and that's really what we're looking at here. The Empty Saint does a lot of that for us. It's a it's a three wide receiver, one tight end, one running back set that coincides with the rest of our offense. The other thing that it does for us, it gives us some nice crossing patterns, and it also gives us blue routes. What blue routes are are block and release patterns. A block and release pattern, what it's going to do is, if a defense sends pressure, it's going to block the pressure. If they don't send pressure, then it's going to go out on a route for you and elude that. So that's why we like the Gun Empty Saint. The gun empty Saint, and the play that we like to use here is a play that has a blue route. Uh, what we like to use is the Saints Deep In. In my opinion, it's the best blitz beater from this formation. There are several others that you can use. I personally really like the Saints Deep In. A couple things to quickly note here, first and foremost in the formation, is that, is that these blue routes don't behave the same way. One of them behaves a certain way, and the other one behaves a different way. You'll see this route to Jason Witten... Um, and actually, they both kind of stayed in there for us, so that's interesting to know. Um, one thing that I do want to show, and let's see it here. Um, it's actually stayed in both times. Uh, what used to happen is that, and you see they block and then they release. Okay, So that's just important to know that. Uh, and then also, real quick, let me just show you this pressure. I'm pretty sure this is correct, but I think it's just, whoops. I think this is this is basically what it is. I'm not 100% sure on it, um, but this is basically what I can see it being. Um, but then we're going to put both guys out on routes here just to show you. And we'll take a sack here to show you how this pressure looks. But it's a zone blitz. Uh, and we'll see if it comes in. It doesn't come in there, but the idea is you're going to send overload one side of the line, send three guys from one side and get pressure. That's the whole basic premise of the zone blitz. And, you know, we may just be able to run it stock and get pressure. You see there, the, the blue routes, though, it's going to pick those blitzers up and then release them to the flats. Okay, so that's the basic premise of this. The second premise of a zone of a blitz beater is to have something that attacks the flats. When you're getting blitzed, one of the things that is very open is typically a defense. The first thing they're going to leave open is the flats. Notice in this zone blitz, we have three guys covering the middle of the field and nobody covering the sideline. Okay, so that's something that you need to know. Uh, what I like to do with this play specifically, uh, and this isn't every play, but what I like to do, you see these two blue routes are flat release patterns, but one of the any, one of the things that we must confirm is that they're gonna, if they if they're blitzing, they're not going to go out on a route. You see, they're going to sit there and they're going to block. They're going to block and then they're going to release. Okay, now that's that's really good in of itself. But another thing we want to do is have something that maybe attacks the flats quick, or just something that can attack a quick pass. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to use hitch routes. Hitch routes are similar to flat patterns, but they take different sections of the field. The cool part about a hitch route is that it does a nice job at sitting against zone. It also does a good job at beating man-to-man -man defenses. 
So what I like to do is use hitch routes. What I'm going to do is I'll motion Williams in to the slot. And what you'll see is it's going to create a nice little bunch formation for us in the slot. And then I'll place him on a hitch pattern. And you'll see here, they're going to play the zone blitz, and I'm going to have a nice quick pass to Williams. That's my first read. And I, I, and I read this, and I say, okay, what I'm looking for is, uh, does the safety come down? If the safety comes down, well, let me show you a, a, a situation. This, this is where the safety is going to come down. He's going to come down in the flats. He's going to try to make, take advantage of me. He's faking a blitz. And what he's going to try to do is he's going to come, come down and try to take this hitch route away from me. You see he's in the flat pattern, and so here, you know, you can still kind of fit it in, but it gets a little muddy because the safety's coming down. When the safety comes down like this, then we know that the, the, the right side of the field is covered. That means that if they're blitzing, that means they may be blitzing from the right, but the left side of the field is going to be open. So we bring um, Williams in, place him on that hitch pattern. And what you're going to see is our next read is going to be Des Bryant. So we look to Williams, nothing. We look to Bryant, and oh, he actually looped in there. Wow. He looped right in on me there, blocking five or blocking six guys, and he looped in. Tough. Um, but what you'll see here is we'll we'll move across the formation to Williams' route, and it's going to be a nice crossing pattern over the middle for us. Um, it does take a little longer uh, to develop, and so that's something that may be uh, important. I like to leave that deep post on the field, and the reason I like to leave it on the field is because first and foremost we have these two blue routes. The two block and release patterns are going to be solid protection. Okay, and the second thing that we've got in this is that Cole Beasley's route is going to be good for situations where they may be in a cover three sky. They may be faking the pressure, they may be showing blitz faking the pressure, and they're actually in a cover three. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a nice option to beat the cover three with. You see that nice aggressive catch to Cole Beasley over the deep middle. The other thing that it's going to do for us uh, is it's going to pull zones. The cool part about the deep end as well, um, and something that I'm, you know, you could also do is take Williams and place him on just a simple end pattern. And this is a really good option uh, because it's going to be a nice little, you know, concept where you're really getting good crossing patterns. Uh, but the cool part we, what we're trying to do with this is we're trying to cover every area of the quick, the immediate field where you can attack short. That's really going to, uh, you know, really frustrate your opponent. So in this situation. Like I said, we have these nice blue patterns, and uh, you know we have all the time in the world. And then we'll, you know, we'll we'll let go of those flat routes if we need to. Something you can do with this, and this is just me kind of talking. Is first and foremost notice that you have these two guys on the line, McFadden and Witten. They're both lined up as tight ends. Okay, then that's important. That's something that really kind of gives us a distinct options here. Secondly, notice that they are um, the ability to throw quick hitch patterns and quick quick things like that. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do with this play specifically is I'll take Jason Witten and put him on a hitch pattern. What this is going to do is it's going to give me a nice quick throw, right there, bam, you know. And and this is also really really effective for man blitzes. What we're going to do is we're going to go to a quick audible, show you a man blitz. Man blitzes, you really want to target these crossing patterns first. You know that's kind of your main target. And you see Des Bryant's route does a nice job at beating that. One of the things that I and this is a rule of thumb on this play, and we'll show you this against the, this is the original play with the block and release patterns. If they're in a man, if they're in a man blitz, I don't throw the ball to Terrence Williams. Here's why. What you'll see here is it, it'll work a couple times, and you'll see that I'll I'll get it and I'll get my standard. Um, you know, I'll get my standard, you know, three, four yards. What, what, what have I have, what I have had happen to me several times, way too many to count, is they will, you know, wait and try to intercept this pass. And I've gotten picked and picked and picked. And it kind of depends on who's going to guard Williams. But again, it's just happened too many times for me to feel confident. But this crossing pattern is normally very effective against cover zero, cover zero blitzes, as you see there, getting a nice yardage. Okay, what your opponent's eventually going to do is he's going to start playing coverage defense when you go into the situation, and so what he'll do is he's got his basic blitz, but he sees that you know his pressure's not really getting picked up, and so what you'll see is he'll do something like this where he'll you know send passive pressure at you uh, and really kind of lower it a little bit. You've been hitting him with this middle, so he'll load that up, and um, what you'll see here is something like this, and what you're going to have is these block and release patterns. Your wit route's going to be covered, but what we'll, what we'll show you is later on. So wait, 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 wait. McFadden. Nice and smooth to the flat. Uh, just something simple. So really easy things. Um, and then one other thing I just want to show you uh, is something simple like a Saint Stick. This play. 
this is something that's really good, um, and I just want to show you because it's, it doesn't have blue routes. And this is what you can do if you want to remove your blue routes and just try to throw dots, try to try to really make quick reads and things. You can use this, and and I actually like to use the deep end, so we'll just show it from there. But this, it, what it does is we're going to use two hot routes. First, uh, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to use uh, quick patterns, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to use Witten on a zig. That's that's the first route uh, that I like to do. It's a nice it's a nice route in combination with Des Bryant's route, uh, in my opinion, and it does a nice job. Second thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to take Darren McFadden and we're going to place him on anything we want. You, you can put him on a slant, uh, but what I really like to do is I'll put him on a regular flat pattern. So if they're blitzing, I have a quick release to the flat. Money every time. It's simple. It's quick. Okay, it's very simple, it's very quick, it's very good. What your opponent will eventually do is this. He'll throw a flat, uh, instant flat protection out there, bring a safety over to get that deep third, and you'll see, look left, nothing. Look right, we now have Jason Witten. You see it. The other thing to note as well, out of cover two blitzes, what normally will happen is cover two, if they send pressure from it, the middle will be wide open. And we'll just show you this is a basic five deep five under shell. Run our standard um, play here. And like we said, we, we take still same routes. Everything's the same. Um, just now McFadden's on that hitch pattern. We look left. They have instant flat protection. We come back right. And we got caught up underneath. I don't know what happened. For some reason, this game is really kind of finicky uh, with the... Um, with the... Uh, here, I'll just show you with the hook zones. Um, they seem to like press a little more this year, but there you see it. And ah, dang it, I forgot to blitz the guy. And obviously you're not going to throw it if they don't blitz a guy, but what you'll see is this cover two look, and then you know, you'll know you see them blitz pressure off this edge here. Try and set up some pressure. And uh, what will happen is the, uh, the route to Bryant is going to come open. Should come open anyway. Well, we got some big time pressure there, some a gap, and like I said, that's kind of the prom, you know, kind of common theme. What I like to do is is slide, is um, pinch my line. This year, I think that it's really important. Here, we'll show you a pitch line setup, and it does allow that outside pressure to come in. Um, one thing that you may need to do is just match protect, and just say I'm only going to put three routes out on the field, and you see you can block anything they're going to bring at you to make a quick read. Um, normally with more players they send the harder it's going to be for them to guard you well, uh, but again the other thing with this and this was trying to show you some more reads and so I may need to just kind of go away from the pressure here but let's look at this I'm going to let that edge pressure come in and we're going to dot right quick to the flat okay so there's that and that's just something simple um, and then the other thing is if they're in a zone any zone doesn't matter what they're in but a quick pass to the tight end is very good. Um, it's very hard to intercept. It's something that's very simple. Um, you need to work on the timing a little bit. I still haven't mastered it because it, you're throwing off your back foot. See there, you see, if you throw it off your back foot, it's not um, It's not going to work as well. It's not as well as it has been, um, but it is still good. Um, but you just see a simple pass. Um, another thing that you can do, what I like to do is a quick drag. So I'll drag McFadden. And these used to not be very good, but you see this year they're really good because they're they're still instant flat. You're still getting that, but you're getting a nice crossing pattern. What this is also going to do is it's going to help you in terms of beating man blitzes. So we'll show you here. If they're in a man coverage, this is going to absolutely destroy your opponent's man, um, as you see there, the, the nice passing. Um, but that's what we do. We have those nice crossing patterns. One thing I like to do, too, is something like this where I streak Witten to kind of clear out those zones and just know that I have this quick pass to McFadden. And this is actually going to work against cover three and things like that. But anyway, these are the basic concepts and principles that you need to beat the blitz. Quick flat patterns uh, along with quick crossing patterns. That's really the, at the heart of beating the blitz. So, um, But, guys, just a quick recap. One of the things you want to be able to do is you want to be able to block crib. And what I mean by block crib is you want to be able to block six guys um, in order to stop pressure because most pressures in this year, if you block six guys, they're, they're not going to get any pressure for most for most guys uh, from what I can see. Secondly, uh, what I find is, what is something that's really important to have in a blitz beater is something with tight ends. The reason you have a tight end is because it gives you an unbumpable receiver to get a ball out quick. 
it. The third thing that I personally prefer is to have block and release patterns. Uh, but that's not for everybody, but for me, I really like it. I think it still works really effectively, and, uh, and so I'm going to continue to use that. The fourth thing is to is to attack the outsides. Normally, in a normally, uh, you know, you want to attack quick. You don't need route concepts. You don't need um, what you need in blitz beating scenarios. Is you need uh, you know quick quick attacks. You know quick flats, quick uh, in, quick quick slant. Those are your kind of routes you want to look for. So, but that's how to beat the blitz in Madden NFL 16. We showed you this nice play from the Saints playbook, the deep end, um, and so we'll be using that this week in the game of the week. But thanks.